Hey everyone, today's video is a review on my foundation that I just bought and the Inglot eyeshadows. So let's start by saying that uh, both of these products I wasn't really happy about and um, one I made it work for me and the other one also but um, you know it's kind of difficult for these products to just it's difficult for everyone just to use them so if you've had my same problems or you share my same opinion just listen and um, see if you agree with me or not so um, I'm wearing the makeup that I'm reviewing right now so the first one is the famous Estee Lauder double wear okay and it's long wearing as you know oh and the color is the color is 2N2 Fresco 01. It's like the lightest one. And um, so I bought it because um, I was like obsessed with it and I like to try different foundations. And I knew that this one was um, on the market, the one that has the longest wearability. And you know, I wanted that. But I also knew, I knew that it was long lasting, but I knew that it was matte. I knew that it was going to be not as easy to apply as the other ones with like silicone and everything else. But I watched uh, Nurber XO's video on how to apply it and she used um, the sponge, the beauty blender. So mind you, in this um, period, I have, I'm having problems with my skin. My skin is not cooperating because um, I finished um, using my Retin-A. So, when I interrupted my Retin-A, my skin now is, um, is misbehaving basically. So anyways, so I applied this and I applied it with the sponge that I have, which is my, not my beauty blender. I don't have a beauty blender, but I have the Sephora one. It's a yellow little sponge. This is the color. Okay, so it, when I applied it on, in the store, you see how much darker it is. I guess with the lights and everything, it seemed okay. But um, when you see it here, it looks darker. You really have to blend it out, and then, of course, it blends out. But it was when I applied it, it was too like pinky-based. So I was kind of upset, and then it was like cakey and blotchy. And what really I didn't like is that you could see all of my pores and I really didn't like that. So anyway, so I tried it. Um, many of my viewers um, told me you have to try it with uh, maybe your serum, with a day cream, apply it in this way, apply it in that way. I tried them all. And then I um, emailed um, Daisy from Daisy Nation and she wrote a whole like long reply and I really appreciate that and she said um, that and I agree with her if a foundation takes that much work then it's just not the right foundation for you so I guess this isn't the right foundation for me but I really wanted this to work because I like the longevity of this foundation so I found a product that works for it and this is the result and yes, it might be a little bit matte, but it is matte and then I work with it so that it's like luminous. So what I found is a little sample. She gave me a lot of product. It's a sample of the, um, it's a sample of the YSL, uh, it's called Teint Parfait and it's in the color Apricot. It's a complexion enhancer. It's a complexion enhancer, and this is in the number four, and it's a color balance. So it's really, really like orangey, and that's exactly the, the color of my skin. And so if I, so you can see that the um, double wear is way too dark. And what I do is that I mix it together, and this is the result. So here on top, you have the two colors together okay so you mix them up the perfect color for me perfect match it blends easily it's luminous and it takes away that 
almost like heavy matte feeling that I was feeling when I applied this foundation and I didn't like. So I'm rushing off to buy this product and Um, it works for me and I apply it today I applied it with a sponge which is fine or what Daisy said and I totally agree with her she has the elf flat top um, blush powder brush and I have the Sephora one so um, this does the trick too so I prefer the brush but the, if I had the real original beauty blender I think that would make a difference Okay, so as you can see, I really, really like this. Let me just read you something about the, um, uh, what does it say? Okay, the shades, there are a uh, color balance in shade one and four, and that's mine. Um, then color sheen in number two and three, and color boosters in number uh, shades five, six, and seven. And the product description is the secret of an embellished, enhanced complexion that is quite simple, simply perfect. This complexion enhancer is used to embellish the complexion's transparency and reveal its natural, healthy glow. So I'm um, like totally in love with this uh, complexion enhancer. It has made my foundation work, not only uh, correcting the color, but correcting the luminosity of it, the texture of it, and I really like it. Another thing that I do not use with the Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's already matte, I use very little powder and I don't use a primer. And this is the primer I use. It's the Guerlain uh, Meteoroids. And um, just like the powder ones, it's supposed to make your skin like very, um, just luminous and silky but I don't need it with this um, foundation I don't I also don't need a lot of concealer with this foundation so I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it but if I am I'm going to be more careful about the color but the colors really never match me so finally I'm so happy I have found that YSL product because it kind of fixes all of the um, other foundations um, so I don't know, this, um, the double wear I guess is not for everyone, it's kind of not for me and yes I do, I did work a lot in the end to achieve the perfect uh, look but it, it's working now, I'm happy and thank you Daisy for all, and all of you too, for all of your um, tips and tricks so finally I, do, I get to wear it and not be like all sad about it and it, with that cream it shows my pores less so Okay, then another product that I bought is um, the Inglot eyeshadows. Now, um, you all know my parents got them in um, Canada for me. The colors that, um, the palette is very sturdy, very beautiful. It comes and it has like magnets. And these are the colors that uh, the lady chose for me because I wasn't there to choose these colors. Now, I'll make it really general because this is just my general feeling about it. I'm wearing the colors on my lids right now and I did a tutorial of this look, okay? And so you'll get to see how I apply my foundation, how I apply these eyeshadows. Now, just like the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear, I put in this review together because I think there are two products that are very difficult to work with. Now this, these eyeshadows are great. They're super pigmented. They're amazing. But do I like them? No, I don't like them because they're very powdery. They have fallout, of course, because they're so pigmented. And to me, they're very flat and too matte. And um, when I, whatever I wear, these are all of them all together. I have like all five colors. Now it takes a lot of work to um, apply these colors because you have to be very careful. So you're, if you're, uh, I just watched a video from, um, by J'adore Le Makeup that I really like her and I follow her and she's wonderful. She also did a review on these colors and she loved them. Just like the majority of the people that I know here on YouTube love them. And I'm probably, you know, I don't want to raid on anybody's parade, and, but I don't like them because if it takes so much work 
to apply these eyeshadows, then I don't want them. It's like, how much pigment can an eyeshadow have? Like, no thank you. I mean, you know, like the French say, uh, la modération a bien meilleur goût. And it's true, like, you know, you just can't put too much pigment in these eyeshadows. So as soon as you touch them, it's like, woo. So um, you have to be very careful when you apply them and they're very flat. So when I look at these colors, I mean, they have all the colors imaginable. And um, I don't find them interesting though. I don't know why, that's my feeling. I find them flat and um, just n lacking of, I don't know, personality. They're all flat, they're all matte to me. They're all, uh, well not all of them, some of them are pearl. So what I like to do with these eyeshadows is use like one at a time. So use one because they're great. Like I'll repeat it again, they're great eyeshadows. But maybe use just this and then use other shadows other eyeshadows combined with it or just that or maybe two and then like another one to give it more of like more dimension to give it I feel that other eyeshadows really blend in with my skin uh, they they just look more like in like seeping into my skin and at one with my skin instead these I I really don't so when I see this the image that I see this is I don't know, like Boy George in the 1980s, or Cyndi Lauper, or theatrical work. These would be great for the theatrical work. So a very heavy um, kind of makeup. And you might like that style. It's not my style, it's not for me. I don't like this like velvety matte, a uh, very powdery. Th that's what I don't like, they're very powdery and um, I just don't like that look on my eyes. Now, I made it work, of course, but if you're a beginner and you're using these, like Gabriella said from J'adore le makeup, um, it's not exactly the best. And um, they just have a lot, a lot of choice, and I really, really like that, but I just don't like to look at it. I think it's just like, I don't know, um, I think it's good for makeup artists and for, like I said, like theatrical work but when I go in I feel like I'm in a toy store and most of those colors I don't need so for the average woman I don't think these are good eyeshadows for the average woman and um, if you are an average woman and you are excellent at applying eyeshadows okay fine but still I just don't like the finish of these eyeshadows so I'm not I'm not gonna repurchase any of them really I'm content with other eyeshadows and um, that's it. I mean, some girls here also on YouTube, some YouTubers um, lack, like that like on the lid like packed with color and then in the crease like a, a very a sharp, very sharp line between like here and here. Nothing is blended or they blend very little and uh, by the way these are very blendable because I don't like that sharp um, crease or those that sharp change of color so lots of girls like that and you know I mean to each their own I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna repurchase them I'm glad I have these I'm gonna um, use them of course like this look I mean many people have said oh that's a really pretty eyeshadow uh, I just don't like that and then what I really really do like though is the blush that um, my mom got me now that's awesome I love the blush but as far as eyeshadows I don't like them. Sorry guys, I hope I haven't made any enemies. So um, anyways, these are two great products, amazing products, difficult to wear, difficult to apply. And so you use them with a little bit of, you know, and um, you'll go, you know, you'll go far with them. Like you'll enjoy them if you know how to apply them. Anyways, thanks again for following me guys and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.